Now to a mystery in Massachusetts. A special ed teacher tells her family she feels like she's being watched. Then, days later, she's gone without a trace. Michelle Sagone is here now with details. Matt Lisa Ziegert's family is still haunted by the mystery of what happened to their beloved daughter and sister. And now they are hoping someone watching right now can help crack this cold case. Agua, Massachusetts is an idyllic small American town where people have always left their doors unlocked and kids play in the street. Seems like crime never happens here. We were average siblings in an average family living a happy average life. Lynn Rogerson's sister, Lisa Ziegert, was living a happy life too. By day, she taught special education students. And at night, she worked the second shift at a local card and gift shop. Then one terrible night, she just disappeared. <sighs> the worst day of my life. You keep hoping that, oh, it's just a mistake. But it's not a mistake. Instead, it's now a mystery turned nightmare. She had said for a while that she felt like she was being watched. And there were times where she would feel uneasy in the store. And she would ask us to stop by and visit her. Lisa's sister Lynn did stop by the card store that night. She had no idea it would be the last time she'd ever see her sister. It was a very slow evening for her. She was talking to me about um, what she wanted to do with her life. Lynn took off at about seven and cops claim the last customer to see Lisa left the store a little after eight. We have a receipt indicating the time that she was in there. That's where we get the 820 hour. Around 9 p.m. another customer comes in. What happens? She comes in, she, she looks around, nobody's coming to assist her, which she feels is odd because the store is open. Police immediately suspected foul play. We have evidence in the back room that there are signs of some form of a struggle. Was there blood at the scene? There is a small amount of blood. But no money was taken. There was no money taken at all. Pocketbook was still there. Lisa fought there and fought against the attacker or attackers. We're not sure about whether or not Lisa knew the offender, whether or not this person was a stranger or familiar with the area. Within the first 24 hours, there's a possible break in the case. Police get a lead about suspicious activity near the time Lisa disappeared. We had a witness come forward. Her attention was drawn to this wooded area with a SUV type vehicle leaving Route 75 and going into this dirt road. But the lead turns into a dead end. Three days after Lisa vanished, there's still no sign of her. Then, a horrible discovery. It comes on a day that traditionally symbolizes hope and renewal for many families like the Ziegerts. It was Easter when a dog walker was walking through this area right behind me and came across human remains. That person immediately called police. The ravaged body was Lisa Ziegert. And police had to tell her heartbroken family. And he just looked at me. And he said, we found her. And I went, she's dead, isn't she? There was a struggle there, and she did fight. There are signs of defensive wounds. She was brought there, and a sexual homicide occurred there. We did learn some of the details. Her shoulders were out of sockets, and that um, her throat had been um, slit, and that she had been stabbed a number of times. That's Lisa Ziegert. She fought. She fought to the end. It's a day that changes who you are forever. I remember kind of going to my knees and then hugging George. I have a husband who is heartbroken beyond words because dads are supposed to be able to protect their children. To this day, police have never found evidence of a stalker or any other strong suspect. The Ziegerts still pray for justice for their daughter. So what we hope is that someone out there will remember something. I feel like the police need a break and they need somebody to be 
courageous enough to come forward and tell what they know. Now, Crime Watch Daily is joining the Ziegerts asking for your help to catch Lisa's killer. It's still um, in the hearts and minds of, of everyone who's here and her family and her friends who miss her. And Lisa herself deserve the justice of knowing what happened and why it happened and, and who did it. I think about this case every day and investigators who are assigned to it continue to work it like it happened just yesterday. This case is solvable. We're hopeful that with the public's help and developments in forensic science that we will solve this case, find the person who did this, and bring him to justice. You were one of the last people that she probably saw. I feel blessed that I was the last person. Um, I have extra moments with her other people don't, so it's, um, it's my blessing. There is new hope for the Ziegert family. DNA material found at the scene is being analyzed so law enforcement can build a profile of a suspect. However, officers still think there are vital clues that have not been reported, and they're asking for the public's help for any information about events surrounding Lisa's death. If you know anything about this case, you can submit a tip at crimewatchdaily.com or call our toll-free tip line 1-844-800-CRIME.